For today's video, we got some more Fortnite. And in this one, I'm gonna go over a bunch of new features that came out with today's patch. All right, so the first thing I should point out is that the cozy campfire trap is currently available in the event store for 600 seasonal gold. And you can buy up to a total of two of them. Now I'll go ahead and show a little bit of gameplay of it when I tested it out earlier. Unfortunately, both of the cozy campfires that I purchased had the same exact perks, which is an increase in healing amount times two and an increase in max durability times two. In order to craft it, you're going to need two fibrous herbs, two flowers, and 10 planks. One thing I wanted to point out, and I'm not sure if this is a bug or if this is intended, but it seems like the durability runs out automatically whether you're close to it or not. It also appears as though it doesn't work through walls. So for those who don't know, the cozy campfire is supposed to heal all allies within the 3x3 three three tile surrounding the cozy campfire. But I noticed that if you put a wall between the cozy campfire and yourself, it's not going to heal you. I believe it gave me somewhere between like 900 and 1000 health. And considering you can heal yourself, your allies and your defenders, I believe it can give more health in total when compared to the healing pads. But yeah, just wanted to point out that the new cozy campfire traps available as of right now, there's only five days left in the weekly section of the loot tab. So be sure to try to pick that up within the next five days. Otherwise, I'm assuming you're going to have to try to get it through llamas. Also, for those who haven't gotten on yet, there's a new design when it comes to wall launchers. You'll notice that there's like a balled up fist on the new wall launchers, but they still work the same as they used to. They just have a new design on it. Another thing that I noticed is that when the husk damage your walls, you'll see these cracks appear on the walls. And I believe that's a new feature that was also included in today's patch. There's also going to be some new expeditions available. As you can see here, one of the expeditions is going to give you people as a reward. And the other new expedition is going to give you traps. They also tweak the UI when it comes to inspecting your heroes and weapons. So in order to upgrade, inspect, or check out some of your other heroes, you're going to have to first select a hero and then you'll see the new options. And from there, you can favorite your heroes and weapons, upgrade them, or inspect them. Also, if you have a hero that can go in the collection book and it's not favorited, you'll see a new option that says add to collection book. So that way you won't have to actually go through your collection book. You can just add your heroes from this screen. I also believe they made some changes to the constructor's plasma grenade as well. It seems like it fires quickly, but it does a little bit less damage. And I'll go ahead and pull up some gameplay of it so you can see it in the background. But yeah, that was another thing I wanted to point out that changed with today's update. They also gave us some more information in regards to upcoming events. The Valentine's event is no longer going to start on February 7th. Instead, it's going to start on February the 14th. There's going to be a total of two new Valentine's themed heroes. Usually they introduce four at a time, but this time they're only introducing two. The first Spring It On event is going to begin on February the 21st. And with that new Spring It On event, there's going to be a new weapon set. And there's also going to be a new weapon that shoots explosive bullets. I believe up to this point, only a couple of soldiers have perks that allow them to have explosive rounds. But apparently there's going to be a new weapon in the Spring It On event that's going to allow you to shoot explosive bullets whether you're playing with the soldier or not. And as soon as I get some more information in regards to those new weapons, I'll be sure to let you all know. But yeah, that about sums up everything I wanted to go over in regards to the patch that came out today. Let me know what you think about the new cozy campfire as well as the new weapon set and the new weapon that shoots explosive bullets. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. I hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for watching.